Hey everybody, so this video has been requested so much, so I thought I'd finally do it. It's all about, as you can see, how to clean your nail art brushes. If you like this video, please support my channel by subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. Alright, so first of all we obviously need dirty brushes, which I don't just have lying around, thank goodness. So I'm just dipping three of my most used brushes into this polish, which by the way is OPI Kiss Me On My Tulips, I think. Um, and just making sure it goes everywhere because that's what happens when you do nail art. Next I'm letting them dry for a while just to make sure it doesn't come off too easily. Okay, so to clean your brushes you can use one of two substances and that's either nail polish remover or acetone. I'm using nail polish remover here and what I do is just pour some into the lid like this. Then get a tissue and wipe the brush on it. Anything that's just freshly been put on there might come off, but there'll still be a bit of staining left. To get rid of this, dip your brush into the nail polish remover, then wrap it between the tissue and gently wriggle it out. This wriggling will help the excess polish to come off. Often you'll find that the nail polish has made its way up the brush onto the metal part. That's pretty easy to clean off. All you've got to do is dip your brush in the nail polish remover, place it on the tissue like before, and then instead of just wiping there, wipe up a bit more onto the metal part. When you're cleaning it's really important to get every little bit off, otherwise the brush will just get completely ruined way too quickly. These brush sets are only about 5 or 6 dollars and they last me months and months and months if not years. Another way you can do this is to dip your brush straight into the nail polish remover bottle. I don't prefer to do this though because it tends to make the bottle look gunky and gross um, and it's not very clean, so yeah, up to you. Anyway, so the striping brush is now all clean as you can see here. Yay, happy brushes. Slightly different method for cleaning this one. It's um, what I use to clean up around my cuticles with. And just of course wipe off the excess first if anything comes off. Then dip the brush in and then wipe it side to side on the tissue. Making sure not to smoosh it down because that will ruin the brush shape. And smoosh is totally a word. Um, by the way, if you're wondering about my nails here, I did do a tutorial for these. These are based on Megan Trainer's Lips Are Moving video, so I will link to that down below. And look, yay, clean brush. Again, use a tissue to wipe around the metal part. And here's this brush all clean. This last brush I'm using both methods for. And that's because I cut this brush down myself, which led to an excess of bristles at the very tip. And so just to keep that clean, I'm going to wipe it in the same way that I wipe a cuticle cleanup brush. This ugly, munted old brush here is actually my favourite one. It's so handy, it's just the perfect size. And so yeah, that's pretty much that brush clean. As you can see, there's some pink at the base I can't quite get, because otherwise it'll just remove the black paint. I thought I'd also quickly show you how to remove nail polish from a dotting tool. All you need to do is dip it into your nail polish remover like this. If it's older polish like this one, let it soak a while. Then take it out and wipe it on a tissue. And done! Here are a few extra tips. Um, just pause the video so you can read them. I don't want to drag this video out too long, which is why I'm not saying them all. But they are quite important. Alright, so I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up, and as usual, subscribe to my channel, it helps me heaps, and I will see you later.